A few years ago, Microsoft bought LinkedIn and a lot of us advertisers got really excited about all of the targeting capabilities that we could use across those two channels. It took a little bit longer than I would have liked and we maybe not have rolled out all of the targeting options I would want to use, but there are some capabilities where you can use LinkedIn ads targeting options in your Microsoft ads account. So for today's video, what I'm going to do is run through where those targeting options live, what targeting options you have available and how you can review the performance for your campaigns. Getting into the Microsoft Ads account, there are two places where we can apply the LinkedIn targeting options within our campaigns. You can do it at either the campaign level or the ad group level. For the first portion of this, I'm gonna go through the setup at the campaign level, and then I'll show you just a quick distinction for the ad group setting, because the entire process is pretty much the exact same, except you can opt into campaign level settings. For now, I just wanna start talking about how we find the LinkedIn targeting options in Microsoft. I'm going to click into an individual campaign and then once I'm in the campaign you might think that you would go to audiences but actually we need to go to settings to start adding in these LinkedIn targeting options. From here we can see all the different campaign level settings and I'm going to scroll down past the vast majority of them past ad schedule and budget and all these different options and come down to campaign targets. Here you'll see that there is location, devices are already in place, but to start adding in the LinkedIn targeting options, we need to click on edit target categories. So if I open that up, you'll now see the location and device, which I scrolled past for a specific reason, are outlined in a blue box and they have this blue check mark here because those targets are already being used. Then there are five other target categories, age, and gender, and then company, industry, and job function that we can also opt into. The company, industry, and job functions, that I'm sure you have guessed by now, are the ones that come from LinkedIn. So if we wanna add any of these additional targets to our campaigns, it's pretty easy, even if the user flow isn't quite as clear as I might like it to be. If we wanna start layering in some of the company targets, all we need to do is click on the gray box here, and you'll notice that nothing changed on the screen aside from the box being outlined and there's a blue check mark next to it. But if we scroll down past the location and device targets that we looked at a minute ago, now you'll see this small section of text down here for company targets. The first thing that I wanna note here is this little note from Microsoft. The target option will be bid only and won't narrow your audience. This will be true for company, industry or job function. All of these targeting options are going to be a bid only or observation layer to your campaigns separated by these LinkedIn audiences rather than an exclusive targeting set. So keep in mind that you can't narrow your audience by utilizing these LinkedIn targets. They're gonna be just bid only additions to the campaign. To add companies, all you need to do is come down here and click edit target. We'll then get this little search box that shows up here. And just for fun, I'm gonna add Microsoft to my Microsoft ads campaign. You just need to type in the company name and hit enter. And it opens up this window here that will be very similar to what it would look like when you're on the LinkedIn platform. There's a handful of Microsoft companies that show up, but the one I wanna use the top one. So when I choose, all I have to do is click target and it'll then add the line item down below to show that I will be targeting Microsoft, which is in the computer software industry, computer software industry, and it has over 10,000 employees. If I want to stick with that, all I have to do is click done and that will close out the editor box of this company target section that we have here. One thing I do want to call out is that each time you add in any of these LinkedIn targeting options and add in a new company, industry, job, Job function, it will always default to increasing your bid by 15%. This isn't necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but I personally would rather have all of my new targeting start off with no bid adjustment, see how it performs compared to everything else in the campaign, and then adjust later on. So all you would need to do is come in here and adjust this to be zero, and now the bids will be adjusted up or down by 0%. So now we have a company added in. Let's go ahead and look at what it will look like for the next targeting option, which is going to be utilizing industry. So I'll click on this, scroll all the way back down because the editor is now at the bottom and everything will look very similar to the company target, except it now has industry. So all you have to do is click edit target. You'll then get a big drop down list of all the different industries that you could try to target. And then once you find the one that you like, you just have to click target next to it it'll add it down below, or you can come up here to the search function and you can type in the industry name that you're looking for. I typed in insurance, it brought up the finance and insurance targets, so I just click add, 
and now we're good to go. And for the sake of this account, the aviation and aerospace and railroad manufacture don't make sense. So I'm actually gonna kick these out of here and I'm just gonna say done with just the insurance targeting option. Again, I wanna default this back to a 0% bid increase and let it just run as it is by itself. The last option we have is going to be targeting people by their specific job function. So what kinds of jobs do the people have at the companies they're working for according to their LinkedIn profile? Everything down here will be bid only. It's a really easy editor to use. Just click edit target. And now you can see that there are going to be a handful of different job functions that you can choose from. You can scroll through, find the one that makes the most sense for you, or you can easily search for a specific job function if that makes a little bit more sense. Once you wanna target it, it's the same process. Just click target, it'll show up down below, click done, and it'll default you to that increase by 15% bid modifier. For the sake of this video and this account, I don't actually wanna keep the job function and company targets that I've added here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to delete them. All you have to do is click edit target, come down to the list that's down here, and there's gonna be a column that says remove all, or there'll be an X next to each of the different targets you have. Just click the X and hit done. And now there's no more company targets. Same thing for job function. Click edit, you have to scroll down past the table that's down here, just click remove all and hit done. Now you can see there's nothing else showing up next to the company targets or the job function target. And the only one we're retaining is going to be this industry target here. So now that I'm all set up with this, I'm just gonna click save. I mentioned earlier in the video that there's only a small distinction between setting up the LinkedIn targets at the ad group level compared to the campaign level. So let's hop into one of the ad groups and we're gonna go back into settings and I'll show you what the difference is. So I'm on the ad group settings tab for one of the ad groups that I've chosen. I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the targeting section again. Ad group targets, you can see here we have all the different locations are here, the devices, and now we also have the industry that's located down here as well. The biggest difference is that at the ad group level, there's this toggle right here that says use my campaign settings. Right now it's selected over to the right and it's blue. That means that it's going to default to whatever the campaign level settings are. And since we just added in the insurance targeted industry and I set it as a 0% bid modifier, you can see that showing up here. And it's grayed out because we're trying to revert back to whatever the campaign settings are. If we decide that we wanna change the setting for this ad group compared to the campaign, we want this to live on its own because performance is different or we don't think this makes any more sense to use here. All you have to do is click the toggle over to the left and then you'll be given basically a brand new slate of how you can adjust this ad group to have any different industry targets or bid modifiers that you want for this specific group. For now, I'm just gonna leave this one as the campaign level settings and click cancel. Once the campaign has run for a little while and we wanna analyze the performance of that specific LinkedIn targeting option, maybe we wanna increase or decrease the bids, we need to go and find the data. Unfortunately, it's not in a place that might be immediately obvious. I personally always would have thought that this data would be in the audiences tab, but it's actually gonna be in the demographics tab over here in this middle menu. So once I've clicked in there, we can now see that we have a number of different tabs within here. So we have age and gender, which typically fall under the demographics, but we also have tabs for company, industry, and job function. So we can easily come in here and click on the industry tab. And now you can see that the insurance industry has been added to all these different ad groups. It currently has a 0% bid modifier, and it'll show all the different performance metrics that you wanna see broken down by that specific industry. Since I just added this, there's no actual performance, but let's say over time you did find that performance was different and you wanted to adjust your bid modifier for a specific ad group, you can come over here and click the pencil next to the percentage marker here. And now we have a few different options. You can see here that we have the specific ad group is chosen, but then we're still using the campaign level settings because that's what the toggle is switched over to. We do get a blue box that pops up here that says if you wanna edit the target, you can either switch the campaign settings off or you can change the settings at the campaign level. You can see that I'm opted into the campaign level stuff because it's got increased by 0% and I can't actually change this text if I wanted to. I can highlight it, but I can't change the number. So if I do decide that I want to create a separate 
bid adjustment for just this ad group. I would need to come in here and switch this toggle off. It'll keep the information I have, it'll keep the industry, and it'll let me adjust either increase or decrease by, and then I can choose my percent. So if you do decide that there is a different enough performance level that you wanna give different bid adjustments, all you need to do is go in, switch them off of the campaign level settings. All of the other ad groups within the campaign will remain under that campaign level umbrella. But these ad groups, since they have enough data, they have a certain level of performance, now you can adjust the bids accordingly. One thing I do wanna call out is that even though over the course of the video, I've kind of talked about wanting to target specific industries because they make sense for an account, don't forget that with these bid adjustments, we can also decrease the bid. We can adjust it all the way up to about 90%. We can also decrease the bid. We can adjust it all the way to a negative 90%, which effectively means that you're trying to exclude these specific people. So maybe think about this from the other perspective. For this video, I've been talking about how I might want to target insurance people, but maybe insurance users or that insurance industry isn't the right fit. So I want to decrease my bids and make sure that anybody searching for my terms is not in the insurance space because maybe that's where I'm trying to compete or maybe those have just not been good clients for me in the past. No matter what the reason is, don't forget that you can also decrease bids to effectively not show up in front of a certain audience as well. In the end, it's really easy to set up either positive or negative bid adjustments for company targets, industry targets, or job functions from LinkedIn profiles in your Microsoft ad search campaigns. Jump in the comments down below and tell us if you've had a really good experience with these, a bad experience, or if you just have some follow-up questions that you think will help you get started with these targets a little bit sooner. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.